10 o'clock, Professor Phillips. Time to go home. Yes, I know, but this work is of the utmost importance. I've reached a crucial point in my experiments, and I think I've discovered something incredible. You can go. I'll be all right. I can lock up myself. Oh, no, Professor. I don't mind waiting. You're new here, my lad. But within a couple of months, you'll be a clock watcher like the others. <laughs> I can't believe it. You're a genius, Professor. A true genius. I knew I could do it. They said I was crazy. Now I'll show them. You see, my serum crystallizes the cells of the epidermis so that they absorb light rays and emit them without any deviation from the opposite side of the body. Well, if you ask me, it's magic. any doubt at all that human beings can use it. No question about it. It would work perfectly. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Professor. I think he's collapsed from overwork. Was the experiment successful? It was perfect. Now hurry up with those explosives. We got no time to waste. 
Okay. Tonight, we have to celebrate. I've got a plan worked out that'll surprise the whole world. Set. Will it destroy the body? It sure will. Perfect. Now the secret of invisibility is safe. Let's go. I'll open. I'm in. What about you? This isn't my day. I'm folding. This is it, boys. After tonight, nobody will be able to get in our way again. Take it easy, will you, boss? You're not a white rat. Somebody's got to find out if it works. <laughs> hey, suppose it doesn't work on humans. <laughs> it's got to work. The professor said it would, and he knew. I can see the wall behind you. <laughs> Where have you gone? I'm right here in front of you. You should see your faces. <laughs> this will make all of us into millionaires. And without wasting any energy. An invisible man doesn't have to use force. <laughs> Here's a list of the counterfeit notes. Thank you. Cashier's six and eight. The others have already checked there. Good, thank you. Good night, sir. Night. I say, old chap, have a look through these. Hmm. Two, four, and three, four, Say, four, Smithers, five, four, six, you must six, be six, almost four, finished. Eight, four, nine. No, I don't mean crap. I mean, I make a mistake for a ten, for eleven. You four, can do this lot, Meg. Yes, I'm right. In a minute. Four, nine, fourteen, four, nine, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Um, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 34, 35, 36, 37, mm -hmm. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 6, Don't 8, work too 6, late. 1, 6, Call me, huh? Mm -hmm. 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 
Malika, what's wrong? You seem to be worried. No, no, everything went fine. How about you, Flower? I found three packages on the desk of the supervisor, and so I left the counterfeit notes. I think we could speed up the rate of substitution. Anyway, I'm sure I could. My clerk is so stupid, I could substitute old newspapers since he wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> no joking. Everything depends on the low neckline and the high hemline. That's all we ever noticed. <laughs> Can you imagine the look on the faces of those bank managers when they find out that we fill their vaults with counterfeit English money? <laughs> By the way, do we have a lot more sterling left to substitute? I'm afraid so. We've almost finished our quota by now, but our friends in Liverpool had to suspend action, which means we must dispose of a million more pounds for them. Are there any other questions? Oh, I forgot. I have something for you. Hi, everyone. Hi, Melly. How about time you got here? Susie, got a light. Thanks. Now that Melina is here, that makes everyone. What's in the box? A gift? You will see. Something very interesting. Why, it's only soap. What are they? Books? Hardly. <laughs> They're engravers' plates for printing dollars. As soon as we finish here in England, we'll make a trip to America and do the same thing with dollars. Like the idea? Oh, yes. Oh, Liga, that's a wonderful plan. Isn't it? This engraver must be a oh, genius. Look absolutely look. perfect. Careful with those. Yeah. <coughs> oh. oh, what was that all about? So you think it's a wonderful idea? I suppose that's where you're doing your best to ruin everything. These are counterfeit. <laughs> what do you mean by bringing them back here with you? No, no, Alika, it's all a mistake. Don't you realize that if we spend even one of these, we could all go to jail? <laughs> they almost caught me when I was trying to substitute the notes. Take her downstairs and show her that her real mistake was thinking no. she could collect the reward. No. Come on. No. And don't anybody else make that mistake. No, let Is go. Is that clear? Well, that's that. Have you got much more to do, Smithers? No, nearly finished. Right. Good night. See you tomorrow morning. Good night. Don't waste any more time counting it. Huh? Just put it in the sack and then get the money from the safe. <gasps> What's the matter? You've never seen an invisible man? Uh, You're frightened, huh? Uh-huh. Well, get moving or I'll blow your brains out. Come on, hurry. Put it in the bag.
Hurry up. I'm a busy man. You forgot the money in the drawer. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now tie it tight. And give it to me. in one of those sacks, then it left by that window. Who? Oh, the sack? Yes, but who took it? What did he look like? How? How do I know what he looked like? He threatened me with a pistol, and they almost broke my bridge work. But there wasn't actually anyone there. What do you mean? I'm telling you he was invisible, invisible. It's the truth. Well, the money's gone all right. But if you're trying to get us to believe that the thief was an invisible man by all the saints, you're balmy, sir. All you'd have to do is throw it out the window, and if a friend was passing in the street, he could have caught the money and got away. Yeah, 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 yeah. He must have had an accomplice. Or you must have had an accomplice. What do you have to say to that, Smithers? Uh, you aren't accusing me, are I didn't you? I not accuse anyone. I just asked a question. I agree that it's hard to believe, like your friend says. But the fact is, I was robbed by a thief. I couldn't see. In my whole career, I've never heard a sillier story. Now, are you going to come quietly, or do we have to use force? Well? All right, come on. What happened? What was that shooting? Smithers, don't do anything foolish. Stop, stop, stop or I'll shoot. The thief was an invisible man. I swear that's true. After him, after him. After him. He's disappeared. That's impossible. But he's vanished. Uh, who would have believed it? Maybe I'm dreaming. I've drawn up a floor plan of the Bank of England. When do you think we should visit them? What does it matter? With our new system, we can leave the money there until we're ready to collect it. It'll wait. Flashman! Flashman! Quick! The money! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm afraid you're wasting your bullets, they only tickle. <laughs> He's wearing a bulletproof suit! <laughs> Wait there. Hold him as long as you can while I fix a trap for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See how you like this? He's smarter than I thought. He tricked me. Pity to ruin a good helicopter, but it'll give you something to remember me by.
don't think Flashman will bother us again. Is he dead? How did you do it? He was caught in an explosion. Good evening, my lord. I trust you've had a pleasant day. Not too bad, thank you, Jarvis. Although I find the Thames a bit cold for swimming this early in the season. I'll draw your lordship's bath at once. Oh, forgive me, my lord, but I see you've been in trouble. Your bulletproof vest is filthy. I fear we'll have to send it to the dry cleaners. I suppose it must have been that machine gun, the usual thing. You know how it is. Quite, my lord. Uh, will you be taking tea in the drawing room? No, I think I'll have it in the study. Very well, my lord. I've come to the conclusion that my brother must be crazy. <laughs> What do you think? Hmm? I think it's my sister who's the crazier of the I two. guess it runs in the family. You should have seen me dive into the Thames. You would have been proud of your old brother. Oh, did you really? Mm -hmm. I am already, Alex. Or would you rather I use the name Flashman? It's up to you. You're one of the few who knows the true identity of Flashman. Mm -hmm. I wear a costume to keep that identity secret. But you have no excuse to make a spectacle of yourself with that ridiculous makeup and those outrageous clothes. What do you mean? I'm madly modern. You're old-fashioned. You look like a thing from out of space. If you put on a costume out of the comics, I can dress like science fiction. The trouble with us, sister of mine, is that we have too much money. We're both trying to find ways of using it to make our lives more interesting. You wear kinky clothes, and I fight the underworld. Now, let's go and have some tea. What about that favor I asked you? You mean looking through the newspapers? Ah, you found it. Tragic accident. Death of well-known scientist. Curious. Was it someone you knew? Yes, we were once introduced. How do you think the accident happened? I doubt that it was an accident. Beg pardon, my lord, which tea would you prefer today? Indian, Russian, Chinese or Persian? Persian, Jarvis, the 1951 blend. Hmm, they mention nothing about it here, but I know that Professor Phillips was working on the secret of invisibility, and I think that he found it. Yes, but... Then somebody killed him and got away with his discovery. Imagine. Scotland Yard, wholly at the mercy of invisible thieves and murderers. There'll be a crime wave throughout Europe, unless we manage to sabotage their clever little scheme. But wait a minute. I don't understand why you're so interested in this. I thought that for the past few weeks you were working on a different case in one of our banks. I took a job at the Bank of Ireland under a false name to find out who was responsible for substituting counterfeit notes for real ones in spite of rigid security. Simple as that. Did you catch anybody? It's one of the girls. She's remarkably beautiful. But what's this got to do with Professor Phillips and the secret of invisibility? Something strange happened when I was working last night. An invisible man held me up and robbed the bank. Naturally, no one believed there was an invisible man, so poor Smithers, it seems, is wanted by the law. And Smithers had better disappear from the scene. Hmm. I'm not so sure. I have an idea. Here. <clears throat> You were one of the last people to see him before the robbery, right? And another thing. We also know that you two were very friendly, right? Come on, now confess. Right? Talk. I've told you, Inspector, I really don't know anything at all about your... Smithers. He was just a friend. I never saw him outside of the bank. That's the truth. I say that you were Smithers' accomplice. And that you were waiting below in the street to pick up the bag of money when he threw it out of the window. No one threw me anything. I wasn't there. Nothing you've said is true. Ah, that's what they all say. But he can't have disappeared. That's impossible. I mean, if you jump from a fourth floor window, you're bound to land on the pavement. You have no choice. I mean, nobody goes up in thin air. What do you say to that, hmm? Hmm? You've hidden him, right? You're in love with him and you've hidden him, right? That's right. His body's in the sack with the money. Mm. 
search the whole house and find the body. Yes, sir. Oh, really, Inspector, I was only joking. If you're hiding anyone in this house, you're going to be in very serious trouble, young lady. There's no one in there, Inspector. No one out there. Very well. We're leaving. But you, see that you don't leave town. Don't worry, Inspector. I'll always be available when you want me. Come on. We have work to do. Sorry, <laughs> darling, but it'll all work out in the end. I thought things over and decided to give myself up to the police. How did you...? I knew somebody was hidden in there. When Baxter's on the trail, you've had it. And the entire sum of money stolen from the bank was recovered by the police. But that's impossible. It's a lie. The police are pulling a bluff. The helicopter exploded. I saw it. And the money must have been destroyed along with flashmen. The police didn't get it from the cashier or anyone else. Suppose there was a connection. No, that's too absurd. Hey, boss. Don't you think it's better to look the facts in the face? For all we know, Flashman may have escaped. He's a tough customer. Why do you say he is? He's dead. Maybe that's true, but it's better not to take chances. That man they are holding in prison didn't steal the money, did he? Let's get him to tell us who gave it to him. <laughs> How do we do that? I'll take care of it, boss, if you just make me invisible. I'm the invisible man, remember that. But the idea is good. Someone has to talk to him. But not you. I'll go. Good morning, oh. sir. Oh, what's the matter? You ill, Captain? I don't know. I felt something heavy here that pushed me backwards. I don't know what it was. I'd say you must have eaten too much. I should say so, too. But, uh, but I haven't had my breakfast yet. I don't understand it. But you'll be dead if you don't tell me everything. I want the truth. Who is Alika, and where did you get that money? I've already told you everything. No one believes what I say about you and the robbery. I already know about that. Why did you try to escape? I didn't try to escape. I realized no one would ever believe it was true. I had a terrible feeling of despair. It was hopeless. So I ran and jumped out of the window to kill myself. And you floated down, light as a feather. I want to know everything. But that is everything. I expected to die, only I... I... I fainted first. Then what happened? When I came to, I was in Alika's apartment. And I could hear the inspector interrogating her in the room adjacent. I wanted to make him quit. So I gave myself up right away. 
Where did you get the money? I don't know. It was just there. I found it when I woke. Uh, yeah, it was beside me still in that same sack. Uh, you're choking me, please don't. It hurts. Do you expect me to believe that? I want the truth. You fool. How could you have the money when I stole it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it. Why don't you ask Salika? She's in the next cell. I'm sure she knows how it happened. She could tell you everything you want to know. If you're real and I'm not just crazy. Crazy! Crazy! Oh! I'm crazy. Da, da, da. Wake up, baby. I want to talk to you. Now be a good girl and tell me what you know about the money that was stolen from the bank. Where did you get it and why did you hide the cashier? What is this, a new type of third degree you're trying? <laughs> What's going on here anyway? The cashier was right, an invisible man. It's some kind of trick. No, it isn't. You touched me, didn't you? Now start talking or I'll get rough. I don't know anything. I didn't hide the cashier. He must have sneaked into my apartment by himself and he came out when the police were getting ready to go. <gasps> you must believe me, it's a truth. That story may fool the police, but it isn't good enough for me. Even if you're invisible, you're behaving like a stupid fool, wasting time over a thing like this when you could become... The richest man in the world. That's my business. Can you smoke? I can do whatever I want. Now, are you going to tell me where that money came from or do I have to kill you? I don't know anything about your money. We were printing our own and everything was fine until the cashier ruined it. You'd do far better to put him out of the way. He jumps out the window, disappears, reappears in my apartment and then gives the whole game away. Perhaps he isn't just a bank clerk. He told me that it was you who had helped him. <laughs> and you believe that? He doesn't need help from anyone. Only you and I may need help if we don't act now. If you're lying to me, you'll pay for it. And I intend to find out which one of you is trying to be clever. Come on. <laughs> in this cell? Another invisible man? That's funny. He's gone. Who? The cashier, Smithers. I thought he was too smart for a simple cashier. Oh, look. I'll bring him back when I'm finished with him. Flashman. Flashman. Then he's still alive. I see we have enemies in common. Get me out of here, whoever you are. I could be very helpful to you. <laughs> We'd get along beautifully together. Okay, doll. Follow me. I'll lead the way. Hey, where do you think you're going? The young lady's leaving with me. This is her huh? day off. Ah! That fixes him. Now, I'll take you somewhere nice and quiet. What a team we'd make. This is great. We'd be able to do anything, anything we want. <laughs> that one. The Maharaj of Singwali, the richest man in the world. He has enough money to make us all rich for life. How well do you know him, Alika? I already told you. I knew him several years ago. The silly thing wanted to marry me, but he already has an enormous harem. That didn't suit me at all. 
I'm sure I can convince him that I've changed my mind. And once the two of us are alone, the invisible man can walk in and take over. <laughs> I'd make a real good Maharaja with a harem all of my own, a palace, tons of diamonds, gold, emeralds. <laughs> I'd make them weigh me like the Aga Khan, but I'd eat a big meal first. How many escapes have there been in this week? all out for First ages. was Manchester Prison. I think total 17, old man, but they've caught at least three or four, you know. No, Cambridge is still in the lead with eight escapes. <laughs> I hope Manchester catches up. So we're leaving for Beirut, but don't forget the police are after Alika. Don't worry, I'll manage. One injection of that serum and I can travel very light, <laughs> naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, it's time we get out of here. Come on, Alika. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Life magazine. Thanks. Are you sure that it was in this week? Definitely. There should be an article on a Maharaja, and I'm quite certain it's something to do with Beirut. Here it is, one of the richest men in the world. The Maharaja of Singwali is going to spend a few days in Beirut with his 30 wives and his daughter Navenka, who has just finished studying in Switzerland. Ah. What are you going to do? I'll have to inform the police at Scotland Yard. We must keep the criminals here in England to avoid unnecessary risks, and Baxter can stop them from leaving. You mean you're going personally? Go to the police in person with this kind of information? No, that would be rather too far out of character. Flashman can go. I'll try to convince the CID to do something, if I don't get arrested, that is. Hello? Yes? Who's speaking? This is Inspector Baxter. What? Ah, <laughs> a masked man here at Scotland Yard. No doubt he's just a visitor from Mars and he's got a flying saucer down in the street. Now listen to me, you imbecile. That's the most ridiculous thing I've... Hello? 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 I've been cut off. Who? Who are you? Flashman to my friends. No, no. <laughs> Don't be frightened, Inspector Baxter. I came here to help you, that's all. I've brought you proof that there's a man who can make himself invisible. Read it. Yes. He's already got a criminal record. He's in your files. You'll have to arrest him right away. He's planning to leave the country. Stop it. Oh, you, you go away. Uh, no, that is... You're under arrest. Sit down. Do stop shouting. This man killed a scientist who was doing research on the secret of invisibility. And Hands up! Help! Police! <laughs> Fool. Inspector Baxter. What is it? What was that shot? Stop. Oh. Do you think he's dead? He's committed suicide. Idiot. Idiot! Oh, follow that man! Don't just stand there! Follow him! He was wearing a mask! It's locked! Oh. Unlock it! There's no key! Then break it down, stupid! Stop wasting time! Break down the door! Go on, break it down, I said! What are you waiting for? Inspector, you already got away! Inspector, they've escaped! Hey, who, who? Those two prisoners, Smivers and Alika. From, from, from prison? Yes, sir. They were helped by an invisible man. Stop talking nonsense. I'm tired of this invisible hey, man. Sir. I don't want to hear any more of this yes, rubbish. Sir. Go and get the bloodhounds. Search the whole city sir. and find those two. And don't forget... Ah! Oh, you fools! What are you doing on the floor? Why don't you look where you're going? On your feet, you can't. I'll have you in jail for this. Flight 127 for Beirut. Will passengers please report to the gate? Thank you. Straight ahead, please. Your boarding pass, please. Just keep close to me. You'll be all Thank right. Thank you. Okay. Your boarding pass, please. Thank you. Thank you.
They've left for Beirut. What's the fancy dress for this time? Listen, this is serious. Look over there. It's Baxter. His bloodhounds must have found the trail. Now that the plane's left, I suppose the inspector will have to come with us. When we catch up with the and her friends, Baxter can take care of... <laughs> Shall I whistle? No. But do something to attract him. It's simple. Hold this. All right, put it on again. That did the trick. Mm -hmm. Look over there. Smithers. Um, you're under arrest. I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Oh, yes, uh, right you are, sir. Mm. Yeah, yes, uh, hold this. What? Uh, hey, Baxter, Chief Inspector Scotland Yard. I'm sorry, but you have to come along with me. I want to talk to you. Really? <laughs> did you hear that? You want to talk to me? Yes. I'm looking for a man who is known as John Smithers. He was in prison for bank robbery, and you bear a rather marked To a bank robber? Yes. Oh, I'm Lord Burma. My holdings include banks. Quite a few, in fact, and it's not likely I'd rob any of them. However, we'd better settle this. Uh, take me to a telephone. But, uh, who do you want to ring up? Buckingham Palace. The palace. Come. Okay. Who? Buckingham Palace, Inspector. I presume that you have heard of it. <laughs> Come on. Hello? Buckingham Palace? Say you want extension one for Lord yes. Burma. Uh, I want extension number one for Lord Burma. Hello? Hello? One moment, Lord Burma's calling. Hello, is that you? <laughs> this is Alex. There's a person here. No, I don't know who he is. Who are you? Baxter. <laughs> Inspector. Baxter, yes. <laughs> Scotland Yard. An inspector, I think he is. He wants to arrest me. I can't think why, can you? Thanks. Certainly. Oh, I'm sure he will if you speak to him. Who's that? Oh! Your Majesty! Yes, but... Oh, no. But I wouldn't have dreamt of it if I'd known. Frightfully sorry. A terrible misunderstanding. I'll be more careful. Yes, Your Majesty. Of course. Yes, I will. Please accept my apologies, Lord Burma. Of course, Inspector, don't worry. There are three billion people in the world, and it's only natural that every now and then, two of them look a little alike. But now that we know each other, why not come to my plane and see me <laughs> off, hmm? Thank you. Let's go. Oh, if you'd care to come on board, I'd like to offer you a drink. Thank you. <laughs> after you. Please, after you. Please, you first. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Who? <laughs> oh, isn't it lovely? Sir? No, no. Please sit down, Inspector. Make yourself at home. I bought this liquor in the South Pacific. Yeah. It's made on one of the little islands of Kickapoo. I do hope you like it. Thank you. You know them, of course. The islands of Kickapoo. No. Pity. They're delightful people, the Kickapoo Islanders. They know how to relax. I think another little drop of their liquor might be good for you. I'm very fond of plane trips. I spend most of my free time in planes, you know, trying to understand our little world better. The Middle East, for instance, has a lovely climate this time of the year. You're not drinking, don't you like it, Inspector? Huh? Oh, yes, yes. I feel a very strange sensation. It feels just like flying. <laughs> but we really are flying, Inspector. In about two hours' time, we shall be landing in Beirut. But... I bet... Uh, I... Uh, uh. <laughs> Poor fellow, he couldn't be stupider. However... He muddles through. Oh, I saw you. Wake up. Wake up, I said. Mm. I can't, my lord. I'm sorry. I can't. Come on. Get on your feet. Who the devil are you? Commissioner Le Grand of the Lebanese police. Then what are you doing here? But this is Lebanon. Beirut, to be exact. 
He said, Beirut. Beirut. Beirut, Beirut. Where's Lord Burma? I have to get to London immediately. Of course, where are your documents? Mine? Hmm? Documents. They're right here. Hmm. Oh, oh that's, that's funny. Oh, where did I... Oh. Inspector Baxter of Scotland Yard. Hmm. Cheap imitation. Where did you get it? I got it for 20 years' service, and I want it back. Later, maybe. Right now, we have to get out of here. This is one of the rooms reserved for the Maharaja of Singwari. Come on. Hurry up. Just wait till Scotland Yard hears about this little... Rondo. This is the way out. Yes, I know. <laughs> For me here. Your Highness, my hotel is completely at your disposal. I only need two floors. Thank you. Come along, dear. There's the Maharaja. That woman with him. That's Alika. That's not wise. Please take your hands off me. That woman with the Maharaja is a counterfeiter. Arrest her. I'll decide who to arrest in this place, and that's the moment it's huh? you. Let's go. This is an outrage. I refuse to let you arrest me. Let go of me. This is preposterous. I demand my rights. Call the police. You see, my dear, I believe in enjoying life. And I'm very generous to those who help me. And if something goes wrong? Your harem is a consolation Ah, for you Western girls are all alike. Even my darling Nevenka objects to my having so many wives. Nevenka? My daughter Nevenka. Her mother was the wife of a Polish refugee I employed as an assistant chef. I had her husband killed so I could marry her, but she thought that polygamy was immoral. I'm different from the other girls you've met. I don't mind how many wives you have. Come closer, darling. You may leave. Thank you, Your Highness. Good night, Princess. Don't be afraid. I don't want to hurt you. I'm really a friend. Promise you won't shout and that you'll listen to me. If your explanation isn't a good one, you'll be sorry for this. You're Novinka, the Maharaja's daughter. I want to know who you are. Listen. That woman with your father wants to murder him. We must do something. The guards won't let anybody in. You're the only one who can prevent it. It seems very improbable that she'd try anything when she knows how carefully that room is guarded. No, no, no. She has an accomplice. I'll explain later. You must stop them. Go to your father. There's no time to lose. Your Highness, someone might come in. I do not wish to be disturbed for any reason whatsoever. There you are. No one would dare enter now. Are you absolutely certain? To disobey my command would mean death. I'm sure you mean it. <sighs> Only this time, darling, you're going to be the dead one. Oh! If you don't do what we tell you. Help! If you expect to keep on enjoying your life, you better do what you're told, understand? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Get out of my I'm way. I'm sorry, Your Highness, you can't go. I must Maharaj see my father. Order. He's in I'm danger. I'm sorry, Your Highness. The rest of my worldly possessions to the New Life Organization. Oh, sign the bottom line. Sign it. <laughs> it's wrong. What happened to him? Pulse. He must have had a heart attack. What do we do now? 
We're in real trouble, Alika. No. We're all right. I've thought of something we can do. First of all, you have to make yourself invisible. We'll use his ring to sign the paper. Please let me go in. You don't I'm understand. I'm sorry, Your Highness. It is forbidden. I have to you go can't. in. Are you ready? Yeah. He really looks alive when I hold him up like this. Quick, guards! The Maharaj is going to shoot himself. Hurry! He's going to commit suicide. Father! Please don't let him do it. No, no, Father, you mustn't do it. I beg you, please. Stop, Father! Oh, no! <laughs> Somebody get a doctor and call the police quickly. She's the one who did it. Stop her. You're going to suffer for this. Don't worry, I'll fix you. I'll create an international crisis that may lead to war. You should be grateful to us for being so hospitable to you while we make inquiries to find out of you who you pretend you are. Hmm? Grateful? When I have no tie, trousers falling down, and shoes without laces? Hmm? Just a precaution for your own safety. Oh, yes? You really are, Inspector Baxter of Scotland Yard, mm. according to this. Will you let me out of this cage? Commissioner, the Maharaj of Singwali is dead. They want you over at the hotel. Excuse me. Hello, this is Commissioner Laurent. Don't forget my tie, shoelaces and belt. On the double. Where did it happen? At the hotel? Suicide. I'll be right over. I have to go. I'm coming with you. The woman I was following was with the Maharaja, and in spite of your hospitality, I may still succeed in I finding her. Mm. Then he put the gun up to his head. We were both standing here. It was terrible, and the princess was with us. Where's the woman who was with the Maharaja? Alika, a tall brunette. She was wanted, wasn't she? Yes, but who told you? The man with the mask. The one who said that my father was in danger. In danger of killing himself? No, in danger of getting killed. Her Highness is in no condition to answer questions. You can see how she's suffering. She actually saw everything. Yes, I saw it. I saw it. But I know it's a trick. Father would never have killed himself. He loved life far too much. She can go. He left nearly everything to a charity, the New Life Company. That seems funny, doesn't it? Not if his daughter and his servant saw him sign the will before he died. What's funny in that? You English don't have enough imagination. That's what's wrong with oh. you. You only believe in what you see. Take the body away. Don't touch anything in here until the lab boys have finished giving it a going over. Seal the windows and the door and don't let anyone in. Imagination. Method's what you need. Of course, he arrested an inspector from Scotland Yard just for not having a passport. Oh. I'd love an ice cream. Here, try this. See how you like it. Don't you think I'm too old for lollipops? <laughs> hey, don't you think you're too old for these practical jokes? I made those, especially for you. It's a signal you can use to warn me of trouble. Keep your eyes open, Sheila. Okay. The same as invisible man.
Hands up, Flashman. <laughs> What's that thing you've got there? A water pistol? Do you think so? Why? <laughs> On second thought, as a gentleman, I suppose I can say that your slightest wish is my command. Don't try anything. Let's unmask. Ah, I'm impressed I wouldn't have believed it. So the cashier was really you, and who knows how many other identities you have. The real identity of Flashman is known only to corpses and friends. Mm. Mm. Corpses and friends, you say? I prefer to be in the second category. All right with you? That sounds like a proposition, is it? You know we'd make a superb team. You and I could split the riches of the world, if you agree. And what would you do with your unseen friend? Corpses or friend, you said. The invisible man is too stupid to be a friend. And do you think it necessary to keep that gun pointing at my throat? No. You two killed the Maharaj. You hear that? Yes, I'm not deaf. We'll have to break the seals. Open up in there. Open the door. Everyone's got helicopters, even her. Wait, where are you taking me? You're alive, that's the main thing. There's nothing to worry about, I'm taking you to one of my hideaways. But who are you? You don't know, I'm Sheila. And he's Flashman. Haven't you heard of us? No. All you need to know for now is that I'm on your side. By the way, do you recall who inherited your father's money? Some kind of charitable organization, wasn't it? Yes, New Life. Do you know the address? Oh, I think it was Darmstadt, Germany. But is it important? Maybe, I don't know. We'll solve that problem when we come to it. There they are. That's their car. Stay up high. If they see us, it'll ruin everything. They're heading for Baalbek. I can see the ruins.
sure he dresses this way in London? Of course I do. You should see the way the men stare too. And getting a stare in London is a big deal. You better drink your tea, it's getting cold. Don't hurry. Cold tea is better in this heat. I don't think I invited you to tea. Believe me, you won't feel like joking long. Sign this. What is it? It's a note saying that you are depressed and tired of living. Oh! <laughs> Tie her so she can't cause trouble. I do hope you won't be difficult. I loathe the smell of burning flesh. <laughs> Who are you? Flashman's girlfriend? I see he likes them very young. I'm not his girl, but you better leave me alone. If you're not his girlfriend, he won't mind what I do. Oh, yes, he will. He'll kill you. He'll track you down somehow. No, don't hurt her. I'll find anything you want. No! Quiet! All right, sit down and add this line. Life is meaningless without my father. And sign it. Before we leave, we'll fix up a nice little surprise for Mr. Flashman. That's a smart girl. Good. No, this must look like suicide. Gag her. I'm going to fix a booby trap so that when Flashman opens the door, he'll get a warmer welcome than he was expecting. We'll hurry up with it. There's an express train at seven and we have to leave her on the tracks. After this goes off, they won't even find enough to bury. Carefully, don't catch pneumonia, Flashman. On your feet, you fool. And next time, be more careful. Blast him. He short-circuited the refrigerator and the serum will be ruined. We'll have to get it out of there. Open the door, but be careful. Yeah, but... No one could survive that blast, but we'll play it safe. Open it. Go on. Where is he? He's vanished. No! Watch the door. He must have used the serum. That's why we can't see him. But we won't let him get out. Here he is. I've got him. He's here. He's here. Where are you? I'll get you.
Yes, but why was the apartment of the Maharaja so thoroughly searched by the kidnapper? He even took the trouble of dusting the gun to detect any prints, and this drew our attention to a very curious feature of this case. Why is it that there were two sets of prints on the Maharaja's gun? The only curious feature of this is that you arrested me when I was on the verge of arresting a leak. <laughs> As I remember, you were sound asleep when I found you. Oof. It took me half an hour to wake you. I told you, Lord Burma had given me that awful liquor. What is it? Something wrong, Inspector? Are you not feeling very well? No. What are you doing? Is there something bothering you? Oh, you're not still mad, are you? I've already made my apologies. Someone's twisting my nose. Oh, no, Inspector. No one touched you. Yes, yes. Someone did, right here. Ah, I see, eh? You're joking. Well, Baxter, what have you got to say now? Does the Invisible Man exist or not? F -f -f flash Man! What? Ah, uh, do you know him, Inspector? Now, I hope you realize that poor Smithers was telling the truth. Ah, then it was you who stole the money. Of course not. I just wanted to show you that a man can become invisible using the secret discovered by the late Professor Phillips. This tube contains a serum. The other, the antidote. The Maharaja was murdered. His suicide was just a cunning trick. The Invisible Man was holding the dead body when the others thought he shot himself. Ah, then Venka vanished. Where is she? In a safe place. And if you send your men to the office of the New Life Organization, you'll find the killers. Are you satisfied, Inspector? If you'd let me speak, I would have told you all this in London. Here's the serum. I'll go and get Nevenka and bring her here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Have him arrested. What would my men think of me if I ordered them to arrest an invisible man in a Superman costume? They'd say I was a fool. Eh? Keep your hands off those. They're government property, understand? That's right. They belong to my government. How dare you let me go? Idiot. Imbecile. Before you go on, remember that you're addressing an officer of Her Majesty. Before you go on, don't forget that we have a cell waiting for you. <laughs> Hello. Prepare two squad cars for a raid. Check.
Sheila, what happened? Navenka, they took her away. They're going to leave her on the train tracks. There's a train tonight at seven. We will save her. I hope so. We've got three minutes left. That's just to make sure she doesn't wake up too soon. Here. That's the suicide note. We'd better hurry up. Okay. Come on. Let's go hide in those bushes. I want to make sure that nothing goes wrong. This way. Please to follow the train, then try and join me. Right away, sir. I'm afraid I get bored with your company. But, Holika... Shut up. Just give me the serum and hurry up before I lose my temper. But I thought that you liked me, Holika. <laughs> you were wrong. Are you hurt? No, no. Don't worry. It's all over now. The police will be here soon.
I'll make her pay for this. They both ran off toward the port. Uh, and the girl, Novenka, where's she? Another girl came along and took her away. Commissioner, can I go now? Are you going to let him go? I don't know. What do you think? I'm late already. All right, go ahead. Uh, Everyone course. back in the cars. We go to the port. Right, to go. the port. To the port. This car inspector. Oh, yes, wait for me. That looks like smoke. Huh? Master, this time they won't escape the arm of the law. Ha <laughs> ha! 
He's found me. Double crosser. everywhere. Leave no stone unturned. We have to find clues. Yes, sir. This way. No, no, this way. Anyway, don't waste time. Huh. The smoke came from this direction. Inspector, look here. There's a hole. Measure it. Hmm. So Flashman wins again, eh? And at last we can go back to London. And we're going to have to hurry up, too. Jarvis probably has dinner ready, and it upsets him terribly if we make him wait for us. Oh, London's the one place I've always wanted to visit. Flashman would love to take you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My kid sister always goes too far. <laughs> Let's go. Don't forget we have to pick up Baxter. Sure, sure. Nothing left but holes. Big holes, little holes, all sizes and all empty. They were here, they must be somewhere. They can't all be invisible. This is the first time I've ever been baffled by a case. Very safe. Don't give up the search. Examine everything. Nothing is too small for our attention. For example, this is the car. Where did it come from? Where is it going? Why is it here? We need something to hang our investigation on. Oh, I say, help! Do stop, won't you? Oh, oh, this just isn't done! Oh, oh dear! God damn it! Oh, 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 let me down, you blighter! Help! This is terribly undignified. What will they say at Scotland Yard? Don't worry, Inspector. We're giving you a little... No! We don't know, no, no! 